Hello everyone, this is Tricky, and welcome to the top 10 most creepy Pokemon fusions. As you guys requested, this is gonna become a little series on my channel. And if you haven't seen the first two parts, you should go watch them, because if you like Pokemon fusions, I'm sure you would really enjoy them. Also, don't forget to answer the questions of the day, which are, what scares you the most? And what's the most creepiest Pokemon fusion you could come up with? And also, if you find any cool fusions that I have not seen yet, feel free to send them to me on Twitter. Anyway, let's go ahead and get to the freaky stuff. Starting off at number 10, we have an Oddish and an Onyx fusion. First of all, look at the face. The face is freaking terrifying. I never noticed that Oddish actually had red eyes to begin with, and now every time I see an Oddish, I'm like, oh, evil. But the concept of this artwork is actually really cool. I really like the grassy rock look just because it looks so ancient, and that little detail just makes the picture for me. I like it a lot. I don't like that face. Uh, that's nightmare fuel. Like. <laughs> And you could see like a little, like a size comparison of a human right next to it. That thing is huge! Can you imagine that face just inching closer to yours? Like, hey, how's it going? I would like to squish you now. Its face is just a little creepy. A name for this fusion is actually kind of easy because Onyx and Oddish actually kind of sounds very similar. So we're just gonna go with Onish because that sounds cool to me. <laughs> but oh well, let's move on to number 9. Taking our number 9 spot is an Esper and a Whimsicott fusion. It's honestly kind of cute, I'm not even gonna lie, but that face is kind of freaky, and a lot of people find Esper to be terrifying to them. I find its scariness to be very, very funny. Like, every time I see an Esper, I kind of laugh a little bit, but this look is honestly, it's like it's staring into your soul, or it's on some kind of drug or something, like, I mean, it's cute and fluffy, and I love fluffy things, and I honestly wouldn't even mind if this was real. It's I like it. But if I woke up and this thing was in my face, uh, I don't think I would like it that much anymore. I would probably shoot it. But in any case, I still like this fusion a lot. It cracks me up and it freaks me out at the same time. Moving on to number eight, we have a Meganium and a Maywile fusion. Oh my. I, it's, this is, this fusion's a little gross. Like, Ew. A lot of people might think this is weird, but I honestly always was freaked out by Maywell's little mouth head thing. I don't know why, but it's just something about a long giant mouth hanging off your head. It just always struck me in the wrong way. Though I do love Maywile as a Pokemon, and its design is actually really, really creative, and I like it a lot. But with this thing, it's like a giant mouth, it opens up, it flowers out, and then its tongue is like a demonic critter of demon juice. What? I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, but this is scary. That's kind of like a really inconvenient place for for eyes, honestly. Like, I mean, think about it. What if you had eyeballs on your kneecaps? How'd that make you feel? While it is very, very creepy, it is still very creative, and the artist did a very good job at combining both these Pokemon together, and the result is actually really cool, though creepy at the same time. But anyway, props to the artist. A name for this fusion? Could be Meganawile or Meganinganim. Wow, what the crap was <laughs> Meganinganim? Help. Moving on to number seven, we have a Paris and a Muck fusion. Ew. I don't even know. Tell me what you think about this. In in past videos, I have talked about Paris, and it's horrible fate whenever it does evolve. Like it basically becomes a zombie because the mushrooms on its back take over its brain. Like. Like a very bad fungal possession, kind of like in The Last of Us. It's practically melty now. This fusion is really freaky. I like, I, I feel really bad for it, but the, the most creepy thing about it is its little arm that's sticking out. Like, and besides the fact that its face is melting off. A name for this fusion could be Puck. Or Maris. I don't even know. But yeah, let's move on. Taking our number six spot is a Gyarados and a Pinsir fusion. Uh, the reason this is on the list is because it has the creepy crawly legs. I can't deal with creepy crawly legs. I am terrified of spiders and I know that it's not a spider, but just imagine this thing moving or walking. It's no. If it didn't have the creepy crawly legs, I think it would look really cool. Honestly, like the mouth and pincer horn type things, it's enough to actually strike a little bit of fear in your heart. 
for being a Pokemon fusion. I would hate to be chased by it, but the amount of detail in it is crazy. I mean, just look at the amount of detail that was put into this little piece of artwork. There's so many talented people, and I love them. Oh my goodness. The name given to this fusion is Garrisir? Or it could be Pinsidos, but I don't know. Next, we have a Zubat and a Gold Dog fusion. I am absolutely terrified of large gaping mouths. It freaks me out, but it has a big old tummy, so it's been eating a lot of stuff, and that's not very reassuring. And wow, like the imagination put into these things is crazy to me. And like whoever drew this is very talented. But this fusion is freaking terrifying. <laughs> when I first saw it, I thought that it was like a Raticate fusion or something like that. Just because of its body shape, I wouldn't even think that it would be Golduck. But I see the, the webbed feet and everything like that. And... Ugh, ugh, I know... The name given to it is Zooduck. Or it could be Golbat. Wait, what? Welp. It's meant to be. Moving on to number four, we have yet another Zubat fusion. This time, it's fused together with Slowbro. Instead of having one gaping mouth, it has three. <laughs> three! Like, I could imagine a little scenario. Because you never know, I mean, from behind it kind of looks like Slowbro. And I honestly think that Pokemon's very cute in its own little way. And I could just imagine, it's like sitting but you can't see its face and you're like, Hey little guy, and it turns around like, oh, Because that's definitely what it would sound like. Not really, I don't, I don't even know. This is spooky. I don't, I don't, mm -mm. I don't want to be in the same room as it. A name for it could possibly be, um, the name given to it is Zubro, or it could be Slobat, but Zubro, I like it. Taking our number three spot is a Scyther and a Marowak fusion. This is spooky, but at the same time, I wish it was real, because it's honestly really cool looking. Like, it's awesome, honestly. Look at the insane amount of detail that was put into this. But at the same time, it's still very spooky, and you would not want to be left alone with it. It looks like an undead dinosaur bug thing. That would totally be happy to bite your head off. The name given to this fusion is Marother. But it could also be Scytherwack or something like that. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Taking our number two spot is a Gengar and a Chansey fusion. This is Nightmare Fuel. Look at that freaking smile. It also has a giant gaping mouth on its stomach. As freaky little tentacle thingies that could strangle you and poison you. It could eat you and look at its muscles so it could like just tear you apart and then smile afterwards. No. This fusion honestly reminds me of, like, the giant big old guy from Outlast. Comment below if you know who I'm talking about, because I cannot think of his name right now, but he's like the giant big old freaky looking guy who chases after you, and he does terrible things. But this fusion is the Pokemon equivalent to that, and that makes me very unhappy. The name given to this fusion is Jinsei, and that's pretty freaky. So let's go ahead and move on to our number one spot. Taking number one is another Zubat fusion. Try to guess what Pokemon is going to be fused together with it. It's a Kanto Pokemon, and honestly when I look at it, I get chills, and it's just my own personal opinion, but at number one we have a Zubat and a Clefairy fusion. Oh, it's so creepy! Yep, that was necessary, don't question it. I know there's a lot of Zubat fusions on here because honestly, Gaping Mouths is what freaks me out the most. Every single detail and the colors and everything like that, it mixes together so well that it actually forms its own atmosphere around it. And that's what I get from this picture, honestly. Like, it, you look at it and you're just like, this is bad. <laughs> this is really bad. And props to the artist for conveying that perfectly. This freaks me out a lot. Make it so okay, I'm not even gonna look at it no more. I don't like it, and this makes me very upset. I have no idea what kind of voice that was. I apologize. <laughs> but anyway, those are a few of the Pokemon fusions that are the creepiest to me. Um, if you agreed with any of the Pokemon on this list, let me know in the comments below which one freaked you out the most. Hopefully none of these pictures scarred you for life like they did to me. But, you know, if you made it to the end, pat yourself on the back. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It gets pretty crazy, but it's all in good fun. And just to remind you, if you do enjoy Pokemon Fusions, be sure to check out the first two parts if you haven't already. You would really enjoy them. And I think that's about it. No, wait, I lied. Follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. 
And now that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!